Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to follow up the last video with a custom helmet tutorial for F125. If you haven't seen the F125 My Team livery tutorial, I recommend watching that first as it is similar to this, obviously with a few changes. Similar to last year's helmet tutorial is slightly different based on being we're using the Apex GP helmet. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. We're nearly at 10k once again. Without any more messing around, let's get into the video. As usual, you're going to need to download and install when writing on the English version or any other language that you speak. You'll need the Intel DDS plugin. When you get to the screen, it'll give you a step-by-step -step on how to install the plugin, which is really helpful. It's a bit mundane now and not necessary, but the old NVIDIA DDS tool is helpful for certain needs. It's not required, but it's something you can install if you really need to. You're going to want to click on the 24 Career 25 Bell Helmet. Once that's done, open them up and save them to your desktop. And while you're here, make sure to subscribe to JB. He is an absolute legend. I've got a massive amount of ERP archivers on my PC. Only a few of them do work with the new current game. So I've put the link in the description of the one that is working for me currently at the moment. You want to download that to your desktop. And once you've done that, you're ready to go. I'm going to be about shouting out the page where we can get custom mods, custom helmets and videos a little bit earlier from any help regarding topics. I'm also putting out a Discord which will be sorted out through the Patreon for one-to-one -one help, any technical feedback you guys need and potentially future mods dictated by you guys. If you're interested, check the description below to the Patreon and let's continue. And of course, if we're going to be using Photoshop, you're going to need version 21.2.4 ideally. So with these two on the desktop, we're going to open up the ERP archiver. I'm going to put it on the desktop. Now, one of the best things to do, the smart things to do, before we do anything else, we're going to open up the ERP archiver. We're going to go to settings, game directory, and set directory. This is going to be where your game is stored. So if you're not unfamiliar with where your game is, I'd like to think you should know. More often than not, it's going to be on your C drive, as that's where games should be nowadays, given that we're in 2025. You just want to click the folder of the game. And then that sets it off later on so we don't have to worry about any issues. Another thing to do, what I noticed with this year's game, you're going to want to set it to run as administrator by default. Into compatibility, you're going to click run this program as administrator, click apply, click OK. Every time you double click it, it'll then ask you for administration and then it'll open. I had an issue where it wasn't allowing me to write initially. So looking at the helmets, as you can see, there's a few variations here. So these four here are the generic My Team helmets we've had for years. These ones here, the three Hamilton ones, and this one for whatever reason, are the new bell helmets. You can tell the difference based off of the vents. So the bell helmets have got like more of a pointed angle and the default ones have got like more like a rounded rectangle. So that is also something to bear in mind when going ahead, deciding on what kind of helmet you want. On the bell helmet, you do get a much thinner strip, which you then obviously have to accommodate for inside of the template. The helmets do look pretty cool this year. Anyway, let's get to making our helmets. So with these, we're going to open up Photoshop. So with both of these opened up in here, you can see there's a few differences. The main difference being how the visor is. So that's the real difference here. So if we open up onto here, so if we use the 25 bell helmet as a reference, we're able to see how the UV is laid out for the visor strip. Now, what I have noticed is it's slightly out of alignment for the majority of it. So for example, if I drag and drop the Zenith one, as you can see, it doesn't align exactly to what the texture is. However, the te this is essentially perfect. So I would use this as like a more of a guideline on how to get it to look how you want. Now then, again, again this is only on the bell helmet. The other one you downloaded is exactly the same as yesteryear's where you've got the long rectangle one. You're able to tell the difference between the helmets. One, how it looks and also the vents the vents are very different helmet to helmet you can see this one's quite spaced apart more like um, a pointier shape but these are quite rounded rectangles the rounded rectangles you can see in some of the helmets like we looked at helmets earlier make sure to save both of these so you can come back to which one you want to make later on if you're unsure at the moment in our case we're going to be doing the bell one because we're going to be replacing the ape apex gp helmet and we're going to get to work so a few things as to note with this of course if you wanted to slowly like just practice your design and just to see how what works and where everything is you can see everything's quite spaced apart so if you were to want to make it you need to make it squeezed a little bit just for it to actually get more or less where you need it to so as you can see here i've squeezed the logo in to make it work in terms of sizing that's something you're going to have to do across all of them so for example if i wanted hot laps straight down the center of the helmet that's not too bad 
However, if you was to put a help lapse over here, it doesn't look quite right. It's a bit stretched out. So you just need to shrink it a little bit to the point where it matches up to roughly the uh, the scale. Same with another logo if we put it over here, for example. Um, it's stretched out quite a bit. So the alternative is you can drag it down to kind of make it level out that way or you can just make it a little bit thinner. Both options work. Um, and as usual, if you want to put a logo on the helmet, if say, for example, we put the, the this logo on the helmet, the best way of doing it is obviously creating a new layer inside of your 2D texture. Right clicking on the text logo you want and click merge down. Sometimes you'll end up coming up with this, which is fine. So what you need to do, because it's almost overlapping with the visor and the rest of the helmet, you're going to want to turn off all of the other options inside this little 3D tab here. Then once you've done that, it, when you merge down now, it's going to put it on top of the helmet. And then once you're done fiddling with these parts, you can just turn all your other bits back on. And then boom, you've got that attached. Very similar process to attaching to the wing. You're going to want to do it in individual parts. So let's say you had something that covers the helmet and then onto the wing. To do that, obviously you're going to want to open them up both with new layers ready for you to paint on. So let's say you wanted to have the red ball on the helmet. So what we do is obviously we make sure we've got fresh new layers in both sides. And then let's do it on the helmet first. You're going to hide everything apart from the helmet. And you're going to make sure you've got two layers down. Two layers is crucial. So if you click merge down on the helmet, it's going to have a version of the logo you just placed on the helmet. And it'll be scaled correctly. So then you're going to want to turn off the helmet and turn on the wing. Once again, make sure that you've got a fresh layer in your wing file. And then you're going to right click and merge down on the logo. So then that way, when you turn everything on together, it's attached and it's aligned perfectly to how it should be. There's plenty of ways you can you can obviously do this and a lot of ways it will work. So that's kind of the basics of this. I'm going to load up my helmet and then I'll get back to you in just a second. Here we are. So here is my helmet that I will be using. As you see, it's pretty similar to my usual design that I go for obviously with a few different sponsors and a few different adjustments here and there. So. How this works, obviously we've got the helmet, we've got the spec map, obviously the spec map dictates what finish every part of the helmet is. Again, uh, until I get around to making one of these, a good example of looking at this is looking at other drivers' helmets inside of Ego ERP Archiver, just to kind of get a sense of um, what finishes what. Same obviously for the wing, the wing's exactly the same, and then for the visor attachment, how it works, obviously like I mentioned earlier when looking at it, it's quite a thin strip. So you can kind of push it a little bit below this. I think this line here is kind of the maximum height you want to be. This is actually pretty good in terms of um, where it needs to be. So happy days with that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start saving these bad boys. So we're going to start off with the helmet paint. I'm going to hit file, save as. F1 mods, we're going to create a new folder called helmet. We're going to save this as Intel. Again, if it's not present, you're going to need to reinstall that. I'm going to save it as helmet. You're going to want to save this as BC1 sRGB and then color, then click OK. For the spec map, you're going to want to click save as Intel helmet spec map. And then for these ones, what you can do is you can save it as just BC7 linear and then click OK. While we're doing that, might as well do the rest of the spec map. So you go to the visor one, visor spec map and save that. And while we're doing the wing, the exact same process. So that as wing spec map. The only reason I said doing it that way is that we haven't got to keep changing it, the settings every time. And then we're going to save this one as wing, but make sure to change it to BC1 sRGB. Click OK. And then, of course, save the visor. That means you now have all six files and we're ready to install the mod. So you can close out Photoshop and you're ready to open up the Ego ERP Archiver. So to install these helmets, you're going to want to head to your asset groups. You're going to want to go to livery package, and this I'm going to go to replica. Inside of here, we obviously do have Zenith B. So inside of here, you're going to have all these character name ones. Ignore these for now. We're going to go all the way down to the bottom to access the helmet file. So helmet D is going to be replaced by your helmet file. Once you've loaded that up, double tap enter. Uh, the end map, I've already checked. There's no residual bump map or anything from other logos. So you're good to continue. Helmet S is going to be your sp helmet spec map. So also load that up, then double tap enter. And then you're just going to repeat the process for all of these. You're going to do the same thing. That's going to be followed up with your wing spec map. 
And then lastly, you're going to be doing the visor. The visor comes first, and then once that's also done, it's then going to be followed up by your visor spec map. Once you've done that, you're ready to hit save, and you're good to go. That's the benefit of doing these helmets. Because they're in replicas, there's only one variation of them, where if we look at George Russell, for example, there's going to be at least two here for George. And then if you go down to Yuki, there's two here as well. So doing it that way really makes life a lot easier. But you're ready to go and load up the game. So once we're in the game, if we head over to F1 World and then head over to Customization, for me, you can already see that our helmet is already loaded in and ready to go. If you're not sure where to find it, um, it should be up the top here as default. And as you can see, that does look, that looks awesome, doesn't it? It looks so, so cool. The helmets look so good this year. And um, yeah, it's it's pretty much immediately already, already done. So luckily for us, it's as simple as that. So these helmet ones are pretty cool and it will be easy to be used for replacement. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. If you have any issues, guys, please make sure to message me either via Twitter, Patreon, or in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you where I can. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to sub, like, or subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.